Hello everybody and welcome back to another EDH deck tech idea. Today I'm featuring Light Pause, Emperor's Voice. Light Pause is a 2 mana 2-2, two two, which has quite a long text. Whenever an aura enters the battlefield under your control, if you cast it, you may search a library for an aura card with mana value less than or equal to that aura and with a different name than each aura you control. Put that card onto the battlefield attached to Light Pause, Emperor's Voice, then shuffle. We are going to play Light Pause as a mono white Voltron deck, which will suit her up with powerful auras to win with commander damage. For example, we want to cast Battle Mastery, a free mana aura enchantment and enchanted creatures double strike. With a free mana aura we can already find very powerful other aura spells due to light possibility. For example, Spirit Mantle, 2 mana enchantment aura, enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 and has protection from creatures which in most scenarios makes light pause unblockable. Ethereal armor, one mana enchantment aura, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each enchantment you control and has first strike. All that glitters, two mana enchantment aura, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. Armored ascension, four mana enchantment aura, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each planes you control and has flying. And another really good find is daybreak coronet. Two mana enchantment aura, enchant creature with another aura attached to it. Enchanted creature gets plus 3 plus 3 and has first strike, vigilance and lifelink. We want to cast several auras in one turn, so it is very important that we have a lot of good card draw. So we play Mesa Enchantress, 3 mana 0 2 and whenever we cast an enchantment spell we may draw a card. Cause Spirit Dancer is not only a great card draw engine but also a threat on itself. 2 mana 0 2 and Cause Spirit Dancer gets plus 2 plus 2 for each aura attached to it. Whenever you cast an aura spell you may draw a card. SRAM, Senior Edificer, 2 mana 2-2 two, two, and whenever you cast an aura, equipment or vehicle spell draw a card. Sage's Reverie is a great pump up effect which will also draw you a lot of cards. 4 mana enchantment aura and when Sage's Reverie enters the battlefield draw a card for each aura you control that's attached to a creature. Enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 for each aura you control that's attached to a creature. Aside from Core Spirit Dancer, we play more alternative threats. For example, the Nifa Capacian Paragon, 3 mana 2-2, two, two, first strike vigilance and lifelink, and aura and equipment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Denifer, Benalia's Hope, 5 mana 4-4, four, four, first strike vigilance and lifelink, and when she enters the battlefield, you may put an aura or equipment card from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield attached to Denifer. Archon of Sun's Grace, 4 mana 3-4 flying lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink, with constellation which says whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white Pegasus creature token while flying. If we cannot win with a Voltron creature, we can at least go white and swing for the win. Ajani's Chosen, 4 mana 3-3 free free, and whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2-2 white cat creature token. If that enchantment is an aura, you may attach it to the token. Sigil of the Empty Throne, 5 mana enchantment, and whenever you cast an enchantment spell, create a 4-4 white angel creature token with flying. Ondo Spirit Dancer, 5 mana 3-3, free free, and whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may create a token that's a copy of it. Do this only once each turn. Light Pause is going to be the target number one for every removal spell, so we need some more protection for her. For example, Lawrence Escape, 1 mana instant, target artifact or creature gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn and you scry 1. Flawless Maneuver, 3 mana instant, if you control a commander, you may cast a spell without paying its mana cost. Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Dawn Charm, 2 mana instant, choose 1, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn, regenerate target creature, or counter target spell that targets you. Blacksmith skill, 2 mana instant, target permanent gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. If it's an artifact creature, it gets plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn. Karametra's Blessing, 1 mana instant, target creature gets plus 2 plus 2 until end of turn. If it's an enchanted creature or enchantment creature, it also gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Rebuff the Wicked, 1 mana instant, counter target spell that targets a permanent you control. You want to win more? You get it. Mantle of the Ancients, 5 mana enchantment aura, enchant creature you control. When Mantle of the Ancient enters the battlefield, return any number of target aura and or equipment cards from a graveyard to the battlefield attached to enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus 1 plus 1 for each aura and equipment attached to it. If it happens that you are playing a longer game with this deck, you might find it hard to recover and this is where Mantle of the Ancients really shines. Flicker form, 2 mana enchantment aura, enchant creature. For 4 mana you can exile enchanted creature and all auras attached to it. 
At the beginning of the next end step, return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. If you do, return the other cards exiled this way to the battlefield under their owner's control attached to that creature. If it happens that you already have a really powerful suited up light pause on the battlefield, you are just swinging and passing the turn until you can attack again. And this is where flicker form really shines, as you just keep 4 mana up and depending on the removal situation you just flicker out light paws. Celestial Mantle, 6 mana enchantment aura, an enchanted creature gets plus 3 plus 3. Whenever an enchanted creature deals combat damage to a player, double its controller's life total. I'm not saying that this is the most powerful enchantment aura that you can play in this deck, but why I featured Celestial Mantle here is really simple. It simply costs 6 mana and allows you to find every other enchantment aura that you want in your deck. Alright guys, these were a few cards that I would play in Light Pause Emperor's Voice. Let me know down in the comments below which cards you would add to the deck, which legendary creature I should feature next, and then I would say, see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.